what's going on everyone it's toned up i just want to do a video um on my refrigerator so on my previous video there was uh, too much ice built up in the condenser area so i totally removed the uh, cover and it works fine um if you know it kept everything cold it's almost like an extra freezer look look what it did to my uh coffee you know it's frozen if I leave anything like vegetables or like ground beef or anything like that, uh, it'll become like frozen. So today, I'm gonna modify the cover a little bit, see if I can make it work like a normal refrigerator instead of a freezer. This way I can store other items in here without worrying about freezing up. So with the cover, it channel all the water down to the bottom drain area, but since I don't have the cover on, all the water is basically just pulled down to the bottom of the refrigerator. Now I got a big block of ice right here. You can see the condenser is working just fine. Now I got all the eyes loosened up. Let's go ahead and work on the uh, cover. I'm gonna remove the um, foam insulation. This way you have more space in between the cover and the condenser. So by doing this, I hope you know the eyes will not build up in between the cover and the condenser area and also the fan. I will leave the heat shield back on just in case you know it get too hot. I don't want the plastic to melt. And another thing, the heat shield also helps to uh, channel the water down to the uh, drain area. I'm going to put uh, a couple of pieces of styrofoam on the plastic so this way it'll prop out the uh, heat shield to the right spacing. So hopefully this will get the water down to the drain area. Right now I'm plugging the uh, plugs back onto the refrigerator, one for the fan, one for the thermometer. Now the cover is back on and let's go and reinstall everything back in here and just give it a test and hopefully everything works. All right, I'm gonna put the message in here. So if you're new to my channel, uh, please subscribe, appreciate it. The cover is back on with all the plugs plugged in. Now the display is working again. Two days later, the drain is still not working properly, but it's not a big issue. So far, the refrigerator is working like a refrigerator, and the temperature is correct. My veggie is not frozen. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.